and welcome to Sylvan Mist Designs. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a project that I've been sitting on for a while now, and I'm really, really excited to get started on it. So here in front of me, I've got one, this is the larger, of two very beautiful milk bottles. I'll show you a picture. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to snap a <laughs> wonderful before picture. I was so excited to get started on my project. Um, I immediately unpacked these and got them washed and um, I got this grid in place, this guideline in place in my bottle. And then I went, oh yeah, I probably should have taken some photos, but I will make sure that you have a great idea of what these beauties look like before. Okay, so underneath this, um, on my table, I've got a Lazy Susan, and then on top of the Lazy Susan, this is my bean bag, right? I call it my bean bag. I have actually, uh, this is like an old washcloth. And underneath, I've got a little bag filled with some old pinto beans, right? Just whatever I had around in the kitchen at the time that I set this up. Okay. Uh, and I've got the majority of the beans up here and just a few down here. And that is just gonna lift and settle this jar. This is extremely heavy. It's extremely thick, beautifully made. Okay. Now, I wanna apologize before I dig into this too far. This is not my normal lighting setup. As you can tell, um, I think <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos before, you might be able to spot the differences here. But unfortunately, there just is not a way around the glare from the milk bottle and the lights, no matter the million things that I tried. And this actually was just the least offending, right? Um, you'll still be able to get a very good view of exactly what I'm doing. And again, I apologize about the glare up there. Um, but again, it's sort of the least offending setup that I was able to get. All right, so please bear with me on that. I certainly, again, I do apologize about that. So with a project like this, uh, like I said, I do have two of these. The other one is just a little smaller. And actually these ones I'm not gonna be doing in tandem. I don't quite have enough room on my work surface here to do them. So uh, in addition to what you see me painting, I am gonna be making some notes off to the side just to make sure that when I do my smaller one uh, that things will match up. Okay, so what am I gonna be using? To start with, um, again, my go-to favorite, I've got the Liquitex Glass Medium. This is going to ensure that any paint that I apply does not flake, crack, or peel off. It will also ensure that it doesn't just wipe or wash off, okay? In addition to that medium, I will, once everything is completed, I will be oven curing these both. Now for the good stuff. What are we gonna be using for colors? I'm gonna start with a mermaid tail. Beautiful, nice teal color heel. Bahama blue. Getting to lighten it slightly with sweet mint. And then I've just got white as well. So those four colors are going to be my base. I'm gonna start by getting just a drop. A nice little dollop there into each of my wells for the colors. Okay. Not very much is needed, not at all. And then I'm gonna get started on my colors here. Um, I'm just gonna grab any one of my tools. This is the one that I've got handy to stir this with. Okay. 
Now this project will take me honestly several days. It's not going to be a super intricate nor extremely large pattern. However, I am going to be doing quite a number of swooshes on this and I am going to kind of layer those up a little bit. Uh, so that will just take time to dry. And then between the two vases, I might kind of go back and forth a little bit. That is also going to be dependent on what time I have to work on the projects. actually not going to start out right in the middle. I'm actually going to start one level out and do the more intricate piece of my design first. I do have two tools with me today. I'm going to be doing quite a number of swooshes. Uh, this is my go-to. I have a nail art tool here. This is the smallest, the 0.5. And then from the Happy Dotting Company, I've got the round headed tool as well. And I'll be using very likely just the S2. And again, that is size two. very first things that I'm going to mention here is how absolutely difficult it is going to be to try to use any kind of grid line on this milk bottle because it's so thick. Glass already is very difficult to work with with a grid just because any slight change of angle and your whole perspective can change and you can throw your design off actually quite a bit by just trying to force yourself onto the lines. I did my best here getting these ones down using only one direction and one point of view. I did not necessarily want to turn this because the second I turn that, I'm going to see that they're on a slightly different plane. So did my best working even left-handed <laughs> to try to get these down. So very likely what you will see is um, once I've done this today, this very likely uh, may be just removed. We'll have to kind of see where things go. I did want to make sure that I had them even around the mid circle to at least start with. So now that I've got the easy part taken care of, let's get into some swooshes.
right, so now my first set of swooshes is actually done. And through the process, I think that you might have also been able to see some of the difficulties that come with painting this. Again, I have several lights around me, um, behind me, in front of me, and kind of off to the side. And I've still got a lot of shadow, no matter how direct my light is. Um, just because of the angles and the curvature of the bottle, it really does play tricks on the eyes. <laughs> so um, as funny as it may be to watch this, and see the kind of angles that are being created, it's just as difficult to paint on it. So thank you so much for bearing with me as we go through this beautiful piece. I promise the outcome is going to be absolutely worth it. got all the really big swooshes laid out and that is going to be at least for now uh, the end of my two tool method and I'm going to jump over into the S2. but definitely a little bit difficult uh, just again because of the same issues because of the shadows and the curve uh, but this is going to be the main design for the project. I do have quite a bit more work to do outside and then we'll go into the center uh, once actually this dries. Um, I am going to do just a little bit more along the top here. Um, I'm going to start the walked dots that I plan along this edge so we can get that moving right along now.
Now, we're not done yet. I do have to put the finishing touches on this. I am going to be mixing some of the darker mermaid tail, this kind of teal here, uh, with a little bit of white. And we're gonna be going over uh, some of these dots just to give them some top dots, kind of bring the color in a little bit. 
Um, and then I will probably use something like a nice bright silver to add a little bit of sparkle to this before we're finished. Well, I hope you can see just how eager and happy I was to get this completed. Um, I actually did this in one sitting, certainly not what I had anticipated, um, but this was such a fun project. Now, I'm not 100% complete. I do still wanna add just a couple of spots here and there of a little bit of silver just to bring that up just a little bit more um but basically yeah this this is going to be a finished piece all right um again i do have a smaller jar as well i will be doing that one well actually not a jar no i do have a smaller vase <laughs> it is in the same style um it is not quite as wide uh, so it is a little bit more slender and smaller um, but i am going to be putting the same pattern so that i can create a beautiful set of milk bottle vases for someone to love all right. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you again soon sometime. Thank you so much. You take care and have a fantastic day.